This video explains you the demand forecasting method using least squares method. Least squares method, popularly known as regression analysis, is calculated using an equation y equals to a plus bx. y is the dependent variable and a is a constant or intercept when x is that is independent variable is 0 and b is a slope and x is independent variable. So to calculate the regression equation or uh, to estimate the demand of a sales uh, we use this equation and instead of doing a mathematical calculation that is uh, uh, the manual calculation we're using this to calculate the slope equals to summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by summation of x minus x bar whole square and to calculate the intercept we use this equation instead of doing the lengthy calculations in excel we use a simple built-in function one is the slope and second one is the intercept and third is the to calculate the r square value we use the equation RSQ. So first we calculate the slope of a regression equation equals to slope. It prompts you to give the known y values. Y values are dependent values. So sales depends on season. So sales are our dependent values. Season is independent value. And we got a slope the intercept normally this is the equation but we use excel function intercept so simply go down select this by clicking tap the known y values known x values we got the intercept and R square explains the strength of the association between these two that is independent variable independent variable and can also be said that what percentage of uh, influence X has got on Y. So for this we use equals to RSQ gain on Y and X values. So the strength of association is 0.89 that is that we can say that 89 percent of the independent variable dependent variable can be explained by dependent sorry 89 percent of the times independent variable has got influence on dependent variable so the association is strong. How is that we are going to estimate the sales? So y equals to a plus bx. So for this equation, we are saying that if x is in the season 12, so in season 13, what would be our sales? So this equals to the intercept value plus slope multiplied by our x expected x that is next season that is 12 what will be our sales in season 13 so 13 so approximately in 13 our sales will be 834 now alternatively we can calculate this using excel graphs also so for that we take a second example and we calculate that so insert take a scatter graph x square scatter and take select these values first let me uh, select the values first insert address insert go to scatter so here is the scatter now what we can do is click on the values then click a right click and you can click on add trend line so add trend line is a regression line so add trend line and here the association is a linear then we can ask to display equation on a chart and also r square value on a chart 
and click OK. So here you got calculated R square value and as we see a font size, we increase the font size. So your regression equation is here or least square method equation is here y equals to 4.0x plus 18.648. So here this is slope and here this is a constant and your R square value. So these are the two ways to calculate demand forecasting in Excel. One is by using Excel functions that is slope, intercept and R square value. You can calculate the estimate and another is by inserting a graph and adding trend line to it we can calculate the least square equation. Mm -hmm.